What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're looking back at a race I did about a week back now. Uh, and this is the qualifying round for Lamborghini's The Real Race. Um, my first time ever entering it, so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. Uh, we're in the lovely Lamborghini Huracan SD Evo 2 around Barcelona. Um, no setup for this. I haven't had time to do this. This is all at death. Uh, last minute I qualified less than an hour before it closed uh, but we're in so how this feature works we've got a I've already done the qualifying on the Saturday I qualified P10 which is alright for my first go it's not as much as I'd like but it's alright uh, and then there's a, a sprint race 15 minutes just go flat out uh, and then where you finish in that race determines the grid for the next race the feature race which is 45 minutes mandatory pit stop this is a sprint race here, so trying to make sure I got a decent start here. Tires are completely cold, because unlike a GT3 car, there are no tire warnings or tire blankets at all beforehand, so you got to do all that yourselves. Starting with super cold tires. I want to take it nice and gently on this lap. Um, I don't want to push it too far, spin, whatever, because points, are, points matter for this race as well as the feature race because that determines that uh, whether you go through to the group stage or not as there was some contact in the background who was that? Uh, looks like we may have sorted it out um, that was further back so it doesn't really matter for us at the moment anyway we're trying to get a good run on Juven Jan in front of us I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong I'm not good at pronouncing words we couldn't can we get a look up the inside we've got a bit of overspeed I want to take nice and gently, he does break later than us. We'll plop it up the inside. Slightest bit of contact, we're all good. Still side by side, but we do have the inside for this next left hander. Although he does outbreak us, but he just outbreaks himself a bit too much as well. You can see the car bottoms out there. As there was another car. Was that. Who was that? There was another car sliding off into the wall on the left hand side. That is not good. But it doesn't matter for us now. P8, moving on deep under brakes, tyres and brakes still pretty cold so still got to judge of braking distances perfectly it's very hard to do uh, on, on the first lap you're not on the roof, you're not in sync with everything yeah especially if you used to drive the GT3s where your tyres are pretty much up the temp and everything right now as we get hit from behind, no that is, that's effectively our race over that's uh, yeah that hurts um, where, yeah, as I said, where you qualify, uh, where you finish in this race, sorry, determines where you start the next race, the feature race. Whatever, we've got to move on now. We've dropped back a little bit. At least the rear tires are now a little bit warmer than they were before. Uh, a little bit warm, warm, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter. This is a reaper now. This is on board with myself. I don't feel like I, I uh, certainly break too early there. In fact, if anything, I, I mean, I was close to in front, so I reckon I picked that braking marker really well. It's just, um, yeah. See there, I think he just, he realised straight away, he realised he did outbreak himself, and that was it. So replaced on the first lap. This was two cars uh, behind us, also trying to go side by side. And no, they just make contacts. One in the ground, one on the wall. It's not what you like to see in a competitive race like this. This is also the first lap, a little bit further back, in fact that's myself in front in the purple Lambo. Uh, he's taking it ultra cautious, cautious, he just gets squeezed. There's two Lambos wanting to go quicker and to make matters worse he makes another push. Moving on, this is two laps later, um, a few cars in front of us, five cars in front of us, they're going side by side into turn one. Oh, the red Lambo just squeezes the blue one, they make contact, they spin out, make contact again. But this provides a good opportunity for both uh, both purple and both and the real the real most getting a good run on them with uh, still properly uh, properly up to ten tires now. So I can really start to make an impact. Although I got boxed in by the 17 car and yeah the red lander just outbreak me on the outside. It's not over yet though, he still wants to battle along with the 17 17 Lambo as well. And we get Up the inside, he doesn't now break himself, but we can. Then we just have track position. We slide up the side. Completely wayward on exit, but it's all good. Moving on a little further now, and you can 
see the two cars in front of us having a fair old battle with uh, side by side. Uh, will they go side by side into this corner? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Still going side by side. It's very technical, slow speed. Back up the circuit. And oh no, the number three car makes contact. That's fine, around. That's a free position for us. I did have to check up on the exit, but it didn't really hurt. Free rash match, rash match, sorry, in front of us. Just up breaks himself. Gave me a sniff of hope to get up the inside, but he just couldn't poke it up there. I'm still trying to be able to get one of these now. There is live stewarding, so penalties do get awarded, and that's why you can see those kind of penalties for these cars in front of us. Comment down below who you think is up on there. He certainly left the door open when I went for it, but. Uh, There's only a few laps to go, I think it was like three laps to go. On board with uh he clearly does leave the door open, he slows it down. It's like he's trying to get a cup back, but I don't know, did he just turn down on us or did I just wait through? Anyway, that was pretty much the sprint race. That was the end of it. P9 on track, but P6 and P7 do have 50 second time penalties for, for contact. I can't see that, but that means we will start uh, P7 for the feature race, although the first to eighth is reverse grid, we actually start P2. Uh, very good for us, we get a very good launch uh, on, uh, on Chang right there. We've got the run on him, we are on the outside base, we're going to have to uh, just put the stamp and send it into turn one. That's what we do, that is P1, we pull it up nicely, lovely move. Now it's all about just settling into a rhythm, bring the tyres up nicely. I'm a little worried about tyre wear because the, uh, at the end of that sprint race, I was feeling my wheels way too much, so I was really like that a lot. I just want to bring the tyres in nicely, don't overuse them, don't stress them on exit here, uh, and things like this, and I lost the way. You have to have easy up to two instead of one like I usually do. Moving on later into the lap, this is P3, Lucas Burst, up at the inside of Chang. Still side by side, looks like he, yeah, he gets the move done. Good move, bit of congestion uh, in the in the background there as so everyone's fighting for position. Um, and then moving on, end of first lap, Chang gets a very good exit out of that final corner. That final corner I really struggled with, I believe to be set up related, but I just had no turn there at all. Um, and as you can see, I covered the inside, but burst and just he breaks so much later than me uh, and just slides around the outside it was a lovely move props to him that was really good i'm breaking usually about 10 to 15 meters maybe even 20 in race spec before the 100 meter board um but as you'll see as you'll see here, Lucas, he breaks the 100 meter board and he doesn't even hold the brakes all the way he's, um, yeah, he's got leaps in it so something i need to focus on the setup damper wise I haven't made a setup for this, this is just the aggressive preset with lower rear wing. Um, but that's something for the next race in Paul Ricard. I'm certainly going to need to focus on if I want to be competitive like these guys. As you can see, we're moving on uh, in hyperdrive now. We are we are clearly slower than the cars behind us, but I was, I was just defending. I was just placing my car in all the wrong places for the guys behind. Every now and then, as you can see, they get a nose up the, uh, the inside or the outside, but... I just placed my car where I needed to, and they couldn't get past. Uh, so it made it, yeah, it was made it made it fun, very intense. This is just behind me. These two cars battling hard. Now the number one car pushes the number seven car out. Number seven car rejoins in behind, and uh, he look a bit of karma strikes here because he rams the rear of the number one car. It just shut them out. So um, yeah, quite interesting, and in considering there's live stewarding in this very competitive. Uh, Esports series that Lamborghini one. Moving on, then I'm still defending from Malana behind. Malana was clearly the fi uh, uh, sorry, clearly. <laughs> clearly the quickest of all week of the entire weekend. He was just on fire. You can see he jinxed to the right, plopped it down the inside. I left the door open. I didn't want to ram into him. I didn't want to give up the position either. But it is what it is. He got past. He drove away from there. Moving on a little later now, this is looking rearwards from my car, I'm, this is a few laps before I make my pit stop to 
towards the end of the set, so my tires are really gone here. And you'll see that here, like, uh, I'm on throttle, and the car's just sliding away from me. Just keeps wanting to step out. Causes the number 7 car behind to check up. He couldn't really do anything about it. He couldn't go up the inside. I felt confident braking in this corner. But as you can see, just touched the curb, and once again, the rear steps away from me. Do have the inside for this corner, though. We're still side by side. Break nice and deep, but I break. I outbreak myself. No, just give the position away, why don't you? Yeah, that's a bit of vid experience um, showing itself right there. Just cracked under pressure. They're moving on. We're starting to get towards the end of our stint. Now, that, that's a car on the wall ahead. Establish Singh into the wall twice. We're going to get a free position here. We've got so much overspeed. We must have damage from that. I, I'd say a fair bit too. That, that looked like pretty heavy contact with the wall. We'll be right on board with him now, see what happened. Touched in so curb, got on the steer. And he just kept it flat while, while being on gravel, so... Yeah, kind of just did that one for himself. Um, yeah, just kept overcorrecting into the wall both sides. We have the overspeed, we get past him. And uh, yeah, that, that really ruined his race uh, right then. So we're back up to P3 now. And we're going to make our, our pit stop. Uh, this lap because my tyres are dead. They're, they're, well, the rears anyway. They're pretty worn. So, yeah, into the pits. Into the pits, we must go. E -I -E -I -E -I -O. <laughs> Some of you may get that reference, but oh, we get rear ended by Davlish Thing behind once again on pit entry. Now, I was, I had already engaged my pit limiter, I was ready. We could run on board with Davlish Thing. Yeah, just outbreaks himself, ran to the back of me. Now I actually got a penalty for that, I got a stop and go 30 seconds for speeding in the pit lane, but luckily the stewards uh, cleared that for me, so I'm very thankful for that. Uh, otherwise uh, my race would have been done. Uh, coming uh, out, out onto the track again, cold tyres, we are fighting for position with this Lambo behind. Now at this point I was pretty distraught because I thought my race was done, I didn't realise the stewards could clear that penalty. So I was, I didn't really feel like fighting or anything. Because, um, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. A stop and go 30 just takes you completely out of the race. You can see, though, I tried to kind of pause, uh, uh, what do you call it, stop the car mid-corner, but I couldn't. Number four car got a good run on me. He's up the inside. Just, yeah, he gets the position. Cold tires, I have nothing to fight him with. Um, but we do have younger tires. Once they get them up to 10, hopefully uh, we can make a, an impact later on in the race. Um, but uh, yeah, we just got to keep pushing, bring them up nicely, because again, I don't want to struggle with tyre wear towards the end of the race. Defending from Chang right now, you can see I'm up the inside, holding him out. Worked nicely. We do lose time in this, but at the moment it's now just a game of defence, defensive driving. We keep doing that, you can see I'm on the inside there. Slow it up mid-corner, aim to get a good exit, so he can't really plop it up the inside. I cover. He's got to go the long way around. Slow, don't, don't outbreak myself like before, can't do that. Slow up mid-corner, get a good exit, can't do anything. So now I've got to think about the next overtaking opportunity he has will be coming uh, down the end of the back straight. I must aim to get a good exit out of turn 9 right here. This is one corner I have been struggling with, and you'll see it right here from this heli shot. I get a lot of push under steer. I carry the same speed into the corner as he. I clip the apex fine, but my car just instantly dr drives out. And he can carry so much speed out of the corner. Still, we cover to the inside. Break it down, aim to get a good exit. He has got a nose up the inside. Oh, very close. Just out break ourselves, let him through. I got up on the curb, locked the front tire, couldn't turn it, and that was it. This is the last lap too, I must add. Uh, fighting for P4, I believe this is. So yeah, that was a, again, a pretty stupid mistake from my side, but to be honest, it is what it is. I haven't exactly had the greatest weekends after the sprint race anyway, finishing down in, in oh, P7, so didn't get good points there. Got better points here, P5. Felt like I could have done more if I had a good setup, but um, that was the race. That was it all done and dusted. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I can tell you guys afterwards, I was it was about 10 o'clock at night or something, and I was uh, high on adrenaline. It was insane. I just, I was shaking, I was, it was just so intense, I loved it so much. I can only recommend it if you want, if you just want competitive racing, this is where it's at. It's stupidly competitive, it's crazy fun, um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. Anyway, that is it guys, thank you very much for watching, 
Let me know what you thought of this type of video, because I've never done one of these before. This is all new for me. Um, yeah, just drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, do you want to see more of this as well? Um, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.